Welcome guys, today we are going to be making the front elevation of this flow plan. Let's get started. So type in the command, so type XL for construction line, type on enter. Once you have this, you can select your lines in which you want your lines to be going. Here there is horizontal and vertical, which we normally use. So I'll go on vertical. Zoom in like that. I'll make a line here, here, and where I make a line there. So make a line here on a window. We want to make our windows. Make a line here. Make a line down there, there, and there, there, there. A line here and here that we we'll make a line here and we'll make a line there press on escape then go on line make a line from there to there press on enter then go on offset we are going to offset at a distance of 400 press on enter 400 going up go on offset again then we're going to offset at a distance of three thousand press on enter like that three thousand so this is going to be our height of house then go on offset we're going to offset at a distance of two thousand one hundred press on enter Offset this going up, then go on, offset again. This time we're going to offset at a distance of nine, nine hundred. Press on enter. I'm going up like that. Press on escape. Type CR for the trim command. Press on enter. So we trim this line here. We trim this line, trim this line, and let's start making. Once you have done that, you can select this these lines down and delete these lines. Get rid of these lines down. and go on delete like that here we can change our color let's use this one for our doors so i've gone on take so selected the yellow color then go there on rectangle click on rectangle then you can make your, your door from here so our door Here we have our door like that coming down up to there. Also have our window here. Press on enter for the previous command. You can make your window there. There to there. We also have a window here. There to there like that. And zoom in. Press on enter, make that, enter again. Here we have a window. Here we have a window. So press on enter for the previous command, make a window here. That press on escape so we are going now to delete the lines which we no longer need so we no longer need these lines this line this line we no longer need these lines no longer need so go on delete yeah we no longer need that line we no longer need these 
Eins, also. I no longer need this line. We no longer need this line. We no longer need this line down. Go on, delete. So after that, we can go on offset. Offset at a distance of 80 millimeters. Press on enter. Inwards 80, 80, 80. 80 you have set inwards go online make a line here press on enter enter with the previous command make a line there and another line there go make a line make decorate our window like that enter for the previous command okay first do that and here as well make lines so you can decorate your doors and windows even better than I am so this is how you make your doors and windows so after we are done we can go on offset and we can offset at a distance of 600 press and enter then this coming down then go on escape Type in the command F for fillet, press on enter. Then here we have going to enter a radius of 200. Press on enter, then go on multiple. So select this line and that line, this line and that line to show that there is an opening here for the veranda. And go on escape, offset at a distance of 600 press enter coming down like that escape type tr for trim okay like that so trim these lines As an escape. So once you are done, let's change our color there. Then go to the normal one which we have been using, white. Then go on offset. You can offset at the uh, let's say 800. Press on enter. Going up. Then type tr for trim. Then I'll trim this. Then I'll select these lines. And this one down. And delete these lines. So we can start making our fissure board on top. So go online there. I mean go on offset and offset at a distance of 150. Press on enter, select this line up 150. Up, go on escape, go on line again. Make a line here going up. Escape, enter again. A line there going up. Like that, go on offset. Then we offset at a distance of 250. Press on enter. 250 this side. And again. 250 I mean 250 250 like that then type ex for the extend command press on enter then you extend these lines like that zoom in extend these lines like that 
then type in the select command so type f press on enter then enter array enter go on multiple yeah on multiple there then we'll select this line and this line this line and this line like that select this line and that line this line and that line and select these lines like that and go on delete select these lines and delete then type in tr for the trim command tr press on enter and we'll trim this part and that part trim this part and trim this part and that part that part as well and we are done go on escape then here we have to make our door for the garage so here we can go here here there, there are some options that we can select here we'll go on hatch so after we go on hatch it will bring this option hatch creation so before i do this i'll go here and i'll select my gate then go there and go on solid then hatch there press on escape so you can select this hatch then go on hatch edit like that then here we'll go on go on this option then go on iso here you can select but in any which you like i'll go with this one and then i'll go on ok then here i'll put the scale of 50 and i'll go on okay so here i have made my gauge my gate for the garage and i'm done there and i'll go here and i'll change i'll go back to this color to white and here i'll make a line here press on enter enter for the previous command i'll make a line here i'll make a line here i'll make a line here and i'll make a line here line there line there line there then we'll go on offset and our offset at a distance of 80 press on enter 80 press on enter like that and i'll select this line I'll offset this side select this line and i'll offset this side as well select this line and i'll offset this side I'll select this line and I'll offset this side here. I'm going to select this line and I'll offset this other side. This side. This side. And this side. Then I'll press on enter. Then I'll select this line and this line and I'll delete. I'll select this line and this line and I'll delete and I here I'll select this line I'll select that line I'll select this line here and this line and I will delete so here just to show that down here it's our GPC then here on top we're going to add our roof now so i'll go on mirror image then i'll select this entire object and i'll mirror it here here like that 
Then get source. No, I don't want to erase the source. So this is our mirror image. So after I've done this, go on line there, zoom in, and let's make a line from there to there. So what I'm doing here is that I want to select this at the midpoint, this entire roof at the midpoint, and I'll go on enter. Then I'll select this and I'll go on move this selection. So I need the midpoint. So here it has told me that this is my midpoint. So I'll select the here and I'll turn off the auto mode. Then I'll place it on top. There it will show me where the midpoint is. okay and i'll place it there uh, it says midpoint and we are done so this is the roof it has to fit as you can see it does fit in so we have made our roof and you can try to zoom in so what i'll do here next is i'm going to go there online and i'll try to connect this line to there there you can enter enter for the previous command here to there enter and i'll select this one see like that and now move this selection I'll move it this I'll move it to there and turn on this auto mode so that I'll be making a straight line I wasn't even supposed to move I was supposed to say copy so select this 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 and that and go on copy selection I'll copy it from here so we'll copy it up to there that you are done so select this and so let's go online again Make a line here to there. Press and enter. Enter again. Make a line from here to there. Enter. Then select these. You select these. Then go on. Copy selection. Here we are going to drop. And there, that, press on, enter, and we are done. So this is how you make your front elevation of your house. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.